Hi, this is Linda from Logical Riding. Uh, this is my first time uh, doing this uh, in English. Uh, that's not my best language, if I say like that. But um, I'm from Sweden and I used to chit chatting about everything when I'm sitting on my horse. You know, it's autumn and um, very nice here. You can hear how the um, leaf sounds. Everything is yellow. I like this season very much. Um, but you're gonna hear more from this. I'm gonna uh, be more international, I, I plan. Uh, so, what I'm thinking about today is uh, the horse uh, we choose is not always the horse we should have. Uh, as a trainer I always see uh, that uh, people are often very afraid of the horse. Very, very afraid. Um, and they, they choose the wrong horse. I don't know if it's uh, wishes that they're gonna be uh, big or succeed in... Uh, I don't know, but for me, horses is all about having fun. It's my whole hobby. Uh, I don't want to be afraid of my hobby. <laughs> I think that is a, a bad idea. So, I had uh, worked with horses all my life, and I have worked with race horses, trotting horses, uh, normal riding horses, and in Spain, I work with uh, Pierre. And I must say, if I, and Icelandic horses I have a lot, um, but if I think about it, the horses I have most fun with is the horses that they have no special talent for something. Uh, they are often uh, wide between their front legs. They are not uh, fast. They are slow. And I can uh, take my friend with me and uh, let her or him ride the horse. And I feel totally secure. And I can... Um, they can jump, like, but not necessarily good or high, but they can jump and they can do a little bit of dressage. Not if you ask the judges, but, you know, just ordinary. Um, so, as I see us as a trainer, most of the problem it is that uh, people are too scared to tell us. And I can't even understand why you have a hobby that costs so much money because it's expensive to ride and have horses. And you're not even going to use the horse as you can. You, I mean, we all know a horse is a, a living creature that likes to, to run and it's a, it's a fighting animal in its nature. It's like to run when it's dangerous. So if you have a horse and you're afraid of it, you're never going to let it run because you're too afraid. And if you don't let a horse run as much as it needs, then you build up uh, tensions, both physical and psychical in the horse. And then makes the, that makes the horses even more horse to be afraid of. So a good thing when you uh, choose your horse, your next horse. Uh, and now I'm not talking to who you, uh, to you that wants to be in competition. Uh, I talk for most of the riders. We are hobby. We have it like a nice free time. When you choose your horse, ask yourself the question: Can I feel 100% secure in this horse? Can I let it run? So it's get tired. You all know if you have uh, done some exercise, yoga or pilates or at the gym or uh, jogging, whatever, you know the good feeling you have when you're really tired after you do it? Mm. I think all horses deserve to have that good feeling that now I'm so tired. Um, 
When you are that tired, you feel good about yourself. The body is empty. It's, you, should, you should feel, on a strange way, clean. Can I say like that? Yeah, so if you have a horse and you know you're never going to be able to give it the horse that feeling, choose another horse. Yeah, I know. And the thing about horses, many of my students are women. And women, we are not very good at living here and now. That's the main thing. We always think, even when we choose men or animals, horses, dogs, everything, we're going to change this and make it all good and sometimes I have students who change the horse for like three or four years and for me it looks the same uh, and when I ask you know I see that they are not happy they are not so happy that you can be with a horse and when I ask them why do you still continue with this oh but uh, now it's so good I worked three years and now I can put the saddle on or now we can uh, walk for 15 minutes in this in the wood uh, or now I can trot in a circle or you know I just what you have worked for three years and now you can do what every horse can do when it's born like because it is like this there are horses that are not meant to be riding horses and unfortunately the people who buy this horse in order to change them they are women uh, I don't know why, but I think about it a lot. It's like, you don't... No, I'm going to be deep. It's like we don't think we deserve to, to be happy and have fun. Uh, but you are. So, and then there is a second thing that... Uh, oh, but if I can't have the horse, uh, what shall I do with it? Uh, nobody else can uh, give my horse what it needs. No, that's true. But all horses aren't meant to be riding horses. That's the thing. And now I always think if you are like, it's not, first we must understand there is nothing bad or wrong uh, by being afraid of horses. Hey, it's big animals, uh, unpredictable if we can't read them. Um, why don't you buy a Shetland pony? Then you can have it as a dog. <laughs> And have fun and not be afraid and for this is the thing you can't be less afraid if you're afraid all day it doesn't work like that you have to build up yourself not put you down so you need to have and spend time with horses and have a horses and learn about horses in a way that doesn't make you afraid because it's not like that, afraid, 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 and whoops, it's gone. No, it's not working like that. It's working like, I'm a little bit afraid, I'm a little bit afraid. Oh, wow, the horse was nice, or oh, what you know. Oh, you get a good feeling. If you collect all those good feelings, and just bam, 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 put them together, you have a big not afraid anymore. That's what you're going to collect, and that is never going to happen. If you always are afraid. Uh, I know people who uh, they, they have been afraid always in, uh, when they are with horses. So it's normal for them. They don't see it as uh, something wrong. It's, uh, they, I have a hobby that I'm afraid of. So they don't see it as wrong. Or it has become the normal. I guess it's the, the same as women who uh, stay with bad men, you know, like hit them or physical abuse them uh, or psychical, um, they stay, women stay, we are like that. And then we're never coming anywhere. Because, yeah, competition is good, it's not for me, but for many, and that's nothing wrong with that. But for all the thousands and thousands of women in the world that have horses, you should not have to be afraid. It's not normal to be afraid for the horse. It's normal uh, to be it sometimes, or, uh, you know, that's human. But it's not normal to have a horse for many years and still you are afraid of it. That's not a fun hobby. Nobody gets better or feeling better uh, when we are afraid. So, afraid, that's one of many feelings that destroy uh, 
bad relationship with horses. So you have to find that horse that you can be calm with. And that is that's very important if you're going to have fun. Because riding, we all talk about techniques and, uh, oh, it's behind vertical and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, right lead, left lead, blah, blah, blah. It's all technique. But for me, riding is not so much technical. Or you can use the technical when you are completely relaxed with your horse. Then you can start to ride and take care about that. But before that, you have to stop being afraid. And you can't say to a, a, a frightened uh, being, relax. I mean, how stupid is that? Relax. You are afraid, you can't relax. So uh, the best thing is uh, to focus on uh, something else. So you don't have the time to be afraid. And uh, the small thing is to focus on something who makes you be more secure in the saddle or next to the horse. So what I'm talking about is working with your body awareness. Because if you think about it, people who are afraid of riding, it's not the riding itself. I mean, if you ride and the horse go straight forward, there is nothing to be afraid of. But you're afraid when the horse stops going where you want. You're afraid of you come in gallop or whatever and it just jump at the side or just stop or uh, it's uh, turning into uh, horses from the Spanish riding school and doing all the things above the ground. That was you're afraid of. And that is a fright that I call the lack of control. So if you can't control the horse, you are, you're going to be afraid of it. So you have to do that, and it doesn't help you to um, uh, make the horses do what you want with help of violence. Uh, because you still have that afraid. What you're gonna need to know about uh, being afraid, uh, the, um, the feeling next to it, it's aggression. So, afraid, if you're afraid, you're most likely to hit the horse more. But it doesn't take away the ground feeling, so that's not a good idea. So you have to work with you to feel secure. And I have noticed, I have worked with this for many years, if you give the rider, or the horse human, better body awareness, so she feels secure, and the horse feels she's secure, and it feels that she has got more muscle when she rides, she sits more uh, straight above the horse, the horse is going to think, wow, because this creature, I can listen to her. Because you need to understand that if you are afraid of the horse, you're going to understand that the horse notices that, even if you uh, hurt him. Uh, he knows that you are afraid. He's not stupid. They are very smart creatures. Uh, and he's not going to listen to you, because when you take the horse out from the paddock in, into the forest or wherever you ride, it's all about survive for the horse. A, a horse feels secure when it's with his uh, leader or his pack. And if you're afraid, you're not a good leader and the horse needs to be that leader. And then it's going to look after uh, uh, bad things everywhere because his leader is left in the pack. And you are not. So the horse is going to be it. And the horse who take control over the riding is, that's not pleasant, <laughs> it's not nice, it's not fun, I don't like it. So, to be, uh, to work with your uh, frightness, you I, you have to excuse my bad English, I do as, as uh, good as I can. You need to be uh, all in the bone, relaxed human being, and uh, that means, or, no, that's wrong. I mean, the easiest way to be that is to take control over your body. Then you can, can take control over the horse's body, not using violence. Uh, it's using your brain and muscle to be calm. And that's what we do in logical riding. And I'm going to let you follow me on more <laughs> trips in the wood like this. 
many people like to see my beautiful places to ride. It's not mine, I just ride here. But, um, so stay tuned and I'm gonna let you listen to more of my bullshit. <laughs> no, uh, I just, I don't have a plan. I just should chat about what I, comes to my mind. And uh, now I know, this time it was about frightening rides. Frightened, that's not the right word. No. But you know what I mean, when you're scared of wolf. That's not good for the riding, so you have to be rid of that. Yeah, so, see you until next time. Have a nice day, everybody.